Okay, so this video is going to show the correct coupling and uncoupling procedures for tractor and trailer on C plus E articulated vehicles. Today we're going to be using the DAF CF tractor unit as used by the instructors at Two Start Training and we're hitching up to the white tandem axles super, super singles trailer. Really important before we start any of this process that we carry out a trailer check. The most important thing is to make sure physically that that trailer handbrake's on. You don't want the whole combination rolling away. That's extremely dangerous. Daily walk around checks, tyres, wheel nuts, lights, exactly the same as you do on any other vehicle, but make sure for certain that that trailer handbrake is on. You don't want it rolling away. So the first thing we're going to do is to reverse towards our trailer once we're happy that we've got the correct trailer. Reversing up, specifically looking at the mud guards, making sure that on either side in our mirrors those mud guards are coming into the correct position. That will make sure that the fifth wheel and the kingpin are lined up correctly. We're then going to switch off handbrake neutral climb out and we're checking that fifth wheel coupling height just to make sure that our trailer wouldn't jump our coupling and cause any damage. So we're at the correct height so the tractor unit and trailer are going to link properly. As we reverse back under you say, see the tractor unit take the weight of the trailer and you're going to feel the little shudder as the, uh, as the kingpin locates itself in the fifth wheel and you can see there underneath as the fifth wheel is uh, is going inside that slot there and the bar comes across to lock. Now this is the part you're going to hear as a driver. You can see the locking arm there as we reverse back and we locate. The locking arm is going to move into place to lock the coupling together. Next thing we do is attempt to pull forward twice. That's called a tug test just to make sure that the coupling is secure. Any problems and they'd release. Next thing outside is to connect our dog clip. Now we put that in place just to make sure that our trailer coupling isn't going to come loose and we now need to do our air lines and electrical connections. Okay, so air lines, we've got the gold collar there, we're locating the pin into the slot. We're going to place the coupling together and pull the collar back, a nice firm grip, good firm push and there we go, that's locked in place and we're going to rotate that collar to make sure it's secure. Same again, this time female onto male, we're going to locate that pin into the groove there, the connector coming together, holding that collar back, really good firm push and we'll see the collar locate and again rotating to make sure it's secure. Next thing, EBS connector, lift the flap up there and locate the EBS connector correctly and we've got that curved locking arm there, we're going to push that round and lock it into place. It's illegal if that's fitted not to use it. It's got to be connected against the law. We've got other electrical connections, straightforward male and female. You'll be able to quite quickly locate the correct and appropriate coupling for that on the trailer. They're nice and straightforward. Next thing is to make sure we put on the correct trailer number plate. Again, points and fines are available for not having the correct number plate. Next thing is to grab the trailer leg winding handle and we're going to wind those trailer legs all the way up. Really important, again, there's points and fines available to wind those legs all the way up just to make sure they'll certainly clear any hazard on the ground while you're driving. The next thing to do after we've done the legs is to release that trailer parking brake. Push to release, pull to park. So we're going to push that and release the trailer brake. Don't forget to check the lights on the vehicle on the trailer before you drive away. Really important. So now we've done that, we're going to drive away. Now any suspicious noises while you're driving, we should stop, pull over in a nice safe place. Just check the load and the coupling just so we know there's no problem. So to reiterate then the correct coupling procedure, carry out your trailer checks, reverse up to the trailer, exit the cab to check the fifth wheel height, reverse under the trailer until the fifth wheel engages the kingpin. Carry out the tug test to check the coupling, engage the dog clip, connect the electrical cables and air lines, attach the number plate to the trailer, wind up the trailer support legs and release the parking brake. So we've done all our deliveries now, coming back to the yard at the end of the day. We need to be sure that where we're going to put our trailer has good ground bearing and support. We don't want to drive that tractor unit out and have the trailer legs sinking into the ground. So we're making sure we're going to park on nice firm ground where the ground is going to take the weight of that trailer. First thing we're going to do once we've parked up is to exit the cab, walk all the way around and engage the trailer parking brake. Again, pull to park.
On the trailer legs, we're going to grab that handle and wind them all the way down. Now we're going to come back up by one, by two winds, just to make sure that when we recouple our trailer, the tractor unit's going to lift the trailer slightly to avoid the legs bending should the trailer move left or right as the kingpin engages into the fifth wheel. That just prevents damage to the legs. Now make sure you remove your, your number plate as well. You don't want to drive all the way up country to grab a trailer and not have a number plate, so let's take that off the trailer. Next thing is the airlines and electrical connections, making sure that we're going to take all of those off. We don't want to leave any behind. You can see them there coupled up correctly. And that's exactly the opposite uh, procedure of what we did before. So we've got the, uh, the collar there. We're going to locate the pin into the groove there. A nice firm grip of the airline because it is going to come out with some force. Push that collar back and the airline will separate. Same thing on the male to female. Um, we're going to come round, locate the pin into the groove. Again, a nice firm grip. Pull back and that will separate. Next thing, EBS, just pull the arm back, remove the EBS connector, and remember to make sure that any other connectors are removed. All that will happen is you'll break the connectors. That's not a good idea. You'll just break the lines. Make sure that we stow them all uh, correctly, nice and out the way, so there's not going to be any damage while we're driving, so they're all correctly stowed. And we're going to remove that dog clip. That will free us to release that fifth wheel, release that kingpin. So it's forward out and forward on that. So the last thing we're going to do then is to drive slowly forward, making sure that we stop just at the edge of that trailer to allow the rear air suspension on the tractor unit to settle down. You can see uh, the fifth wheel and the kingpin there separating. It's important to stay underneath and have a look in the mirrors to watch the trailer and the tractor separate. That gives you another opportunity to make sure you've put your legs down and they're not sinking into the floor. If they are sinking or you haven't put them down, you won't see the tractor and trailer start to separate and that's when you need to be worried that there might be a problem. So pull gently forward, making sure that we stop just to make sure we're separating properly uh, just before the trapped unit comes out from underneath the trailer. That helped you to avoid any major disasters happening there. So just to reiterate, finally then, the uncoupling order is to apply the trailer parking brake, lower the trailer support legs, remove the trailer number plate, disconnect the electrical and airlines, unclip the dog clip to disengage the fifth wheel, driving out slowly, allowing the trailer to settle, making sure nothing's sinking into the ground. That's it, coupling and uncoupling complete.